Welcome back. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Just want to say thank you guys for the support on the channel. For those that follow me on Instagram under the same name. I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you that have supported uh, me from the 2023 uh, breeding projects and buying snakes off of me. I still have about four left from last year. If you guys are interested, I'll drop a link below. But uh, this year should be interesting with the breeding as well. We'll get into the ball pythons in just a little bit, but I just want to show you guys Pop-Tart right here. Some of you guys love seeing her. And for those of you that think I show her off too much, then uh, that just sucks because she's probably my favorite animal, my favorite snake in the collection. And uh, she's super sweet, super docile. And you can see how uh, exploratory she is and how nice she is. And I don't even have to worry about her getting around my face or anything like that. But I do keep her away from my neck. Just for safety purposes, we don't need any issues with her unintentionally squeezing too hard and uh, I take a little nap. <laughs> so uh, within that, she's doing well, super healthy. I will probably, hopefully breed her this year, uh, at least attempt to, to see how that works out. Hopefully we get some baby green anacondas in the near future, but she's super active right now. And I'll probably put her back and we'll check out some of the other animals. All right, let's check out some of the ball pythons. So the 2024 season has started basically in 2023, October, November, December is when I started pairing all of my females and my males together. And not much is really going on. All the females are still eating, which I'm still new at this. People say that they'll go off food and then they'll ovulate and then they'll shed and then you'll get eggs. And then some people say, they will eat the entire way and then you just get eggs. So it's kind of uh, weird. Last year, all the females that did lay eggs went through the cycle where they did not eat. And then the female that ate the entire time, I didn't even know she was gonna drop eggs, dropped a whole bunch of slugs. So I'm just gonna go off of the fact that the last four from last year did the whole cycle of no, not eating and then the ovulation and so on. So the only one that's went through that process is this female right here. And hopefully we get some eggs within a month. This is an orange dream Enchi leopard pied from Canova. And then I bred a orange dream Enchi yellow belly pied from Canova with her. So little redundance with the orange dream and the Enchis, which is basically in the pies, which is basically everything I have in this collection. Last year I did not hit it, but this year I have a lot of opportunities to hit a super orange dream and a super enchi. So I really want to hit the super stuff because on the super stuff, um, when you breed them, no matter what you breed it to, you're always going to get at least one copy of that super form, which is really nice because you'll never get normals and then you can just stack everything on top. Um, so hopefully she has the opportunity to go. I've been breeding this girl and she just shed, but unfortunately she's still eating, which is still good she's eating, but not good for the whole breeding aspect. So this is an Orange Dream Fire Clown from Aussie Boyds, and I've been pairing a male, obviously, uh, a chocolate leopard clown. So the fire is bright, the chocolate's dark. We're just gonna see how that kind of plays out. So hopefully we get something involved with that. Now I had a bunch of tags on here and then I, some of the tags fell off so I don't know really know where this chocolate is as of right now because I've been, this chocolate's been going crazy. He's breeding to like six or seven males or females. And then this one right here, I bought this one a long time ago. It's just a pastel clown. She is in shed, but she's pretty big. And I wasn't too sure what to put her with, but I ended up putting the chocolate leopard clown because Anything chocolate, chocolate pastel, chocolate leopard is going to be phenomenal. I'm sure I'm going to hit some basic stuff on that one as well, which is also not a horrible thing. This girl right here has stopped eating. Again, I, I, it's a weird time of the year where some of my snakes do go off of food because it's tough to keep temperatures in the room because it's connected to the house where the house is at like 65 degrees. And then in here, it's like 85. So it's very tough to get the temperatures always correct. So we know ball pythons kind of suck at eating. So 
when they have any weirdness going on with temperatures or humidity, they just stop eating. So it's kind of throwing me off. So it's a fire, orange dream, and chi uh, pie. So again, trying to hit the super stuff. I love the orange dream. I love the enchi and the fires just makes it that much better. I'm not trying to hit super fires because I'm putting so many um, genes into it. We all know super fires make basically white snakes. You'll never know exactly what's in it. So it's hard to sell it to somebody like this is it, but it could possibly have five other traits or it has no traits and it's just a super fire. But if they're females, I'd probably hold them back just to get the fire. And then it's like kind of letting, you can win the lottery on some of this stuff with the super fires or the super yellow bellies. Speaking of the super yellow belly. Uh, so this is an ivory and she pied. And as you can tell, it's very difficult to see what's in here. I got this one from Canova. The last female I showed you was from Canova as well. So I do trust Canova, their whole group on what the genes were. And as babies, you could tell it was a pied. Right now, you can't really tell at all, but she's been breeding a lot with the uh, orange dream and she fire. So again, since it's a super yellow belly, everything will be minimum yellow belly pied, which is phenomenal. Oh yeah, I put the chocolate in here. So the chocolate and these two have not done anything that I'm aware of, but she's gone off food and I just think it's like a, she just doesn't want to eat. And I don't, I haven't seen any symptoms other than that, but it is a uh, fire mahogany clown from Canova. And then the chocolate leopard clown is from a uh, rice reptile. So basically, they partner with Canova, so beautiful animals. Hopefully we can get something cool out of that. But if they're not gonna breed, and I haven't done this, and it makes me nervous to try to put another male in there because I don't want the genes to get mixed up, especially if I'm introducing heads. So it's a fire mahogany clown. I was thinking about putting this male in here. So this is a pastel, orange dream, yellow belly, anchi pied, 100% het clown so putting that to that we would get make clowns het clowns and then 100 percent het uh pieds and then all those cool codoms together which would be awesome to add all that stuff together but if they did lock at some point and she's not eating i don't want to throw a head in there and just mess everything up so if nothing happens with her in another month or so and I don't see them lock up. I really want visual clown stuff, but we might flip flop them around and see what's going on. So that's just kind of like the basics of what's going on. Um, we do got some cool stuff going on down here, which these ones have been locking up. So I got some from John Chosmer. A lot of my stuff is from John. Awesome guy, quality animals. This dude is in shed. So not as bright as he should be, but it's a spot nose vanilla. Vanilla and fire are uh, enhancing for the colors. So they're brighter. They don't really dull out as much as other jeans. But spot nose vanilla clown going to this female right here. Mahogany leopard clown from Canova. Trying to get some of that. Uh, vanilla Batmans, Mahogany Batmans, Mahogany Vanilla Batmans, and anything and everything in between on that. So I just think that's a really cool gene. That spot nose Vanilla Clown has also been breeding with this girl right here. This one is a Chocolate Leopard Red Stripe Clown. So that would be awesome. Red Stripe is a tough gene to see, but you can definitely tell with the chocolates how it, it lightens the head pattern and we'll try to do this so on the red stripe the, the head pattern is lighter the coloring is a little bit lighter um, and then the chocolate is way more darker so beautiful animals at some point I will put these together just to try to hit super chocolate but as of now that vanilla has been locking up because vanilla chocolate would be phenomenal. Vanilla to anything looks really good. It's just like fire. But 
that's really it. Uh, a lot of these are locking up, like I said, and they're on a rotation. I don't have a uh, incubator, so I'm just guessing some of these girls may not even be in their cycle at all. Some of them might have been in a cycle and I missed them. Some of them might be in the cycle right now, uh, palatating them um, and checking to see for follicles. It's not something I know how to do. I need to learn how to do that. But I'm just putting the males with the, the females and open for the best. So that's just kind of like a very, very quick update on what's going on. Be prepared for a very busy 2024 on the videos and what's going on in here if everything works out. Uh, hopefully we get something out of all these females being bred. But on that, um, I don't know. One last one, I guess, we can, we can see. And this is the Batman. So I got some rice reptiles, possible red stripe. Again, red stripe is a difficult gene to see. Um, and they don't have the shed testing out for that as far as I know yet. So uh, the, or the Batman is a leopard spot nose clown, which... I mean, these were $3,000 animals a couple years ago. You can pick them up for like 700 bucks, 800 for a male, probably a thousand for a female. So pricing, um, like everything has drastically dropped, but everything's being a little bit more affordable now, which is good to get into a lot of our dream snakes that we've been seeing over the past few years being made. On that, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. There's any specific uh, stuff that you want to see in the video, let me know. So, see you guys.